There is no better time to excessively glisten like the present. Let your vim and vigor and totally unnerving levels of moistness be a beacon. Yes, a beacon to all those poor souls who chafe themselves. Be not a chafe machine. Or dear mothers. Move, damn you! Hey, everybody. Get out there and vote. Make sure you vote. Don't take that right for granted. Vote. All right. Besides that, let's see who won this here first anniversary contest. So, got quite a few entries. Here is a graph of the entries, which really means nothing whatsoever. Texted Gene this morning, and he is 170 pounds. The closest entry was my good friend Jason, with a weight of 169.7. But, uh, Jason has decided to decline the prize and give it to the next closest answer, because he is a San Francisco police chief turned private investigator in a wheelchair. So I've decided to give it to my friend Julio, who guessed on Facebook because he didn't have a YouTube account, but in lieu of this, I've decided to give it to him because he guessed right on the nose with 170. Julio is a dancer, a former luchador, and an aspiring underwater welder. All right, so Julio, now that you've won a $6 pedometer I got on sale at Sports Authority, please say something inspiring to the younger generation. Um, uh... Uh, oh, uh, go for it, and if you don't have it, get it. <laughs> and that was fun. Being that Summer had recently finished her third 100 miler, I decided to check up with a couple of people just to uh, see if anything interesting has happened in a while. Jason Gruspe successfully ran the Tough Mudder Marathon in Southern California in July. The Tough Mudder, for those of you who don't know, is a 12 mile course with uh, obstacles such as 12-foot walls, mud, ice water, electricity, so on and so forth. Jacqueline ran and successfully completed the Ohio to Ocean Marathon with a result time of 3 hours, 36 minutes, 10 seconds on June 3rd. She also very recently became a certified spin instructor. And even more recently, she ran the Hartford Marathon in Connecticut on October 13th in 30 degrees with a finish time of 3 hours, 37 minutes, and 14 seconds. Also, I ran into Lee Proctor. I haven't seen him in a while, but I ran into him about a month ago, and he said he recently got his bench press back up to 400 pounds. Additionally, Brian Collette on October 14th in San Francisco uh, ran the Nike Women's Marathon, placing in a time of 3 hours, 17 minutes, 43 seconds. He placed 20th overall and second in his age group, and he dramatically lost a toenail in the process. Also, my good friend Davis, who is a teacher in Japan, he is now thoroughly addicted to Turkish get-ups through uh, no small fault of mine, and I'm only demonstrating him on the show because he told me not to. But he is making brisk progress, and I will keep you all updated. And besides all these marathons and achievements and whatnot, uh, Jacqueline got married in July, uh, William got married in September, so congratulations to both of them. My cousin got married in September, too. I don't really know why I'm mentioning it because he doesn't exercise, but... Uh, oh yeah, I just wanted to make a point that if you're going to get married and you don't play Love Shack, you just done fucked up because it, that was not a proper wedding. You're just going to have to get divorced and get married again and play some goddamn Love Shack. Get it right.